This video is brought to you by Database Mart. More information link in the description. Hello guys, welcome to my channel and also welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to set up your very own Discord bot using VM2. VM2 is an application hosting allows you to host your Node.js application 24-7. It's fairly easy and it's actually way powerful than the methods that I used in the previous video. So in the previous video, I used Google Cloud. So Cloud um, and then teach you guys how to host your Discord port using um, screen. It's not reliable and it's very um, inconvenient. So in this video, I'll be teaching you guys using how to use PM2. So before we start this video, we require two things. First of all, you need a Discord port. Obviously, if you have a Discord port on your on your local computer, yeah, that that's already picked up for you. And second of all, you need to install Bitwise as a SSH client. So. It's really easy to install. All you have to do is click the go to the link um, provided in the description. Then you click the Bitwise SSH client installer and follow the installation instruction. That easy. So I already have it installed. It's all good. So it's pretty much easy to use it. So host is your external IP, um, public IP. Username is your username that you set if you're using Azure or the username provided um, by any um, virtual private servers um, provider and the password is like the same thing if you set it on Azure or the internet um, private server provider just provided it for you if you're using Google Cloud you have to install another program called Putty create a Putty gen then you have to generate a new key or if you have a existing key you can use that one and then after that you go to the client on your Bitwise Go to your client team manager and then you import it and that's it. Initial method you can use public key and then you pick your key that you provide. But I don't since I don't use Google Cloud, I just use password um, as my method instead. So pretty much all you have to do is log in on your tech, on your provider and if you have it, if you see a new um your your new interface right on your left side, it means it, um you connect it to your virtual machine. So first, you can connect to your SSH, which is a new terminal console. Next, you can type sudo s, then you can type your password provided. So I entered my password. And there you go, you are now in root access. Next is apt update. This will update all the, in yeah, all the apt updates required for your virtual machine. It's pretty fast or easy to do. Next, you can do mkdr bot which is required and now we can type shmod 777 star which is used for ship in 8 now we'll create a star um, symbol click enter and there you go you have permission to edit your bot folder next you're gonna go to this um, website which I will link in the description and then you can go to the installation instruction which is on here you just go to the link Go to node source, I'm gonna go to installation instruction. And there you go. Note that there's the 8 version 8. And you just gonna copy the curl. You copy that. You can copy paste it. Once your um your first script successfully installed, like it shows you to run your node that yes. Copy that command and then paste it here. I will run the, um, the installation for node, node.js and once it's done, you type node, check if it works. It says welcome to node.js version 18 and you have version um, node.js version 18 installed on your virtual machine. Control C or it's here to start dot exit. I'll exit you out and now we're going to install um, node uh, npm pm2. Before we can install that, we need to have your Discord bot transferred to your bot. So, locate your Discord bot on your folder. So mine, and then after that, you have to extract all of this, and make it into a zip file, which I already done it before. So by command, and I type OS for um for this for purposes, and it shows that I'm running on Windows Windows, and that's on my bot because it's running on my local host. That's why I want to change the Windows to Linux. And that's the main topic of this video. So, Control C this. Don't need to comment anymore. And now, 
you want to open to SFTP. You can do two ways. You can do Control Shift S to so open the uh, SFTP, or or the easier way, you can just go go back to your uh, your Bitwise client and then you just click the new SFTP window. Either way works. Now you see this um, your home administrator or your your home directory. It shows all the files in there. That's you know simple stuff. Now you go into your bot and locate your Discord bot and then you see it. You drag it down. While it's installing, make sure it's um, installing the CD green bars loading. Once it's that once it's that loading, we're gonna install in another APT application called Unzip. So APT install Unzip. This will install um, APT Unzip. And now once it's installed, we're gonna wait for the the Discord bot files to start running. Once it says I one item um, transferred. Now we're gonna go inside our Discord bot. So ls see if your bot is there. Do, do cd bot ls and you see your your zip file inside. So I like that. Do type unzip and then right click or yeah you right click to replace it and then there you go. Okay, unzip everything. Type ls. And make sure everything's there. And there you go. Just to make sure the bot is actually in the it's working fine. Type. First of all, you actually type npm install. This will install all the necessary um, requirements for your Discord bot. It will be quick, so there you go. And now type node dot and it will show the um, it shows bot is ready or whatever you set up. And then now I'm going to type that ls. You should say I'm running on Linux. There you go. Now it's running on Linux. And that's good. And next up, we're gonna install PM2. So, Control C, go to this website which I will link in the description. Highlight this and right click, and there you go. This will install PM2 onto your Discord board. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. So, starting a hard on this installation, be easy as um. Say. Now once your um your PM2 is installed, check if it's installed so by PM2. And there you go. If you say it's if it shows this, then it's perfectly running. So now we want to host your bot. So type PM2 start and your bot file, which I call my bot.js, and click enter. And there you go. It's now running host log um 24/7. So I'm gonna type slash OS. It's gonna run like that. There you go. It's actually way faster than running screen. This is, and plus, it can actually handle much faster because you know it's um device it. And now we're gonna install another program. We're gonna we're gonna install another one we're gonna, which we're gonna go monitor. So so if you wanna monitor your Discord bot using on a web website interface, you click monitor PM2. Pretty much, it's a simple step. So. You sign up, which I'm gonna sign up very quickly. Once you sign up, you shall say new bucket collection. Let's call it any bucket collection. I'll call it this bot. Call it anything if you want to. Click create. And that will create a new bucket. And now once this once it sells your so connect your app, install runtime, so copy that and then right click, I'll copy paste, I'll, I'll paste it into the SSH. I'll install it easily and also best thing about PM2 is that you can actually run multiple bots at the same virtual machine yeah you can actually run more than two if you want to host your disco bot in here so it's actually more convenient so next you're gonna install that copy paste all the commands required there you go private and public key PM2 is activated and there you go it shows that your bot is running. Now we want. Now we type PM2 list. It will show all the list of um, bots running. So I want to actually change the name from bot to a name that I wanted. So we type PM2 um, stop bot. Just type bot, and it will stop the bot. And 
now we're gonna do PN2 start bot .ts slash slash name and then you're going colon for this company and then close back. There you go. Now we have a bot called Grumpy and that's the bot that I actually called it. So if you want to like you know after they like you have to stop grumpy you can and if you want to start again you have to start grumpy that will actually only start the same command that you set up before so that's easy so you know it shows everything on here like your metrics and stuff like that you can change you can check the logs that happen on your um your bot it takes a long time so i don't have time for this video so it's it's really fast and actually simple and now here's the best part you can update your bot easily so if you have ever updated your, your bot um your bot files ever all you have to do is actually just drag and drop into here and that's it heck it's really easy so i would it's actually i will show it to you but i don't have time right now so you should try yourself so if you have a disco bot it's actually better if, if you have, if you made a massive update. If you ever made a massive update, you have, make sure you see, um make sure you delete the, the old zip and then you um zip over them and then drag it there. You can delete the old zip by doing um either you can delete from the remote file or you just delete from the command using the rm rm slash r command and and then unzip the rest and then after that all you have to do is type pm2 restart and then your your bot name and that's pretty much it that's how you update the bot it's that simple it was quick and easy well that's all the today's tutorial so if you have any questions like issues you have please comment down below or join my discord server which is actually much easier and also thank you so much to database mart for sponsoring this video i highly suggest you actually use the service i will always link it in the description down below again thank you so much for the services and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial video bye bye